Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today I am going to be showing you how I got this look using the Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette. This is an all matte cut crease and I also show you guys how to, you know, cut your crease. It's a little hack you can do if you're a beginner and yeah, so if you guys want to see how to get this look, then keep on watching. It's super easy and I hope you guys enjoy. So first I'm going to start by priming my eyelids. I'm going to be using the MAC Groundwork Paint Pot just to prime my lids. You can also use concealer and powder as well. I just didn't use that just because I already had this um, particular item out on my makeup dresser from a previous look that I did. So that's why I'm using this um, primer. So first I'm going to start, I'm going right into the palette. I'm going to go in with the first shade, it is called Yodit and it is the first one on the top row and I'm just going to be applying that to my transition area and I'm kind of packing this on really really heavy because I want when I cut my crease for this color to still be able to be seen. I don't want it to be lost once I cut my crease so I am packing it on and then blending it out. The next shade I'm going into is Zama. It's in the middle second row of the same palette. And I'm just going to be applying that right underneath it just to give it like a little nice transition. And I wasn't originally sure what direction I was going in until I cut my crease. Um, so this is kind of where it started and it just you know kept going great. Now I'm going to cut my crease and I'm going to show you this little trick and I do slow it down for you so you guys can see it. So what I do is I apply some concealer, you look up and then wherever you see the little space between, you know, the concealer you already applied, that's where you fill in. And I will show you guys that again um, in slow motion. So you're going to apply your concealer to your lid and then you're going to look up and just look all the way around from the inner to the outer corner and when you close your lid you'll see exactly where to cut your crease and to bring the color down. That is a little hack um, that I learned. I forgot whose video I saw and they did this and showed this. If I can find it again I will link it down below but that has been what I have been doing to really help me cut my crease because it's one of those things I hate doing. Anyway, moving on, we are going to go in with the shade Kana, and we're just going to use that as our all over lid color. It's just kind of like a muted out kind of beigey color. Um, I wasn't too sure about the color when I first applied it, but then it kind of all started coming together. Um, and then I'm going to go in with this pretty burgundy color. It's called Jamata, and I'm going to apply that to the outer V. Outer v. This is when I really started like, okay, this look up my alley I really really like it so I just use kind of like a really small blending brush to apply that and just kind of just really blend that into that shade and just really work it in that particular area and I'm just gonna go back and, and blend some more I believe I use a little bit more of Zama and really brought that in and I just go back and forth between um, those two shades and then I also went back in with Jamata just to kind of define that crease a little bit more. I'm going to move on to the face which I'm not going to talk through um, but I will have a list of all the products that I used in order down in the description box but I'm not going to talk through this section um, just because um, yeah I don't want to. <laughs> you guys see my complexion numerous times so just sit back enjoy the complexion part and I will be back when we're back to the eyes and the rest of the face.
go in with the Black Radiance Contour Palette per usual. Contour my cheeks and you know set that contour that I did before and my forehead and all of that. And this this kind of doubles up as a bronzer because I feel like it really bronzes my skin and makes it look just I don't know super just sculpted. I don't know. And then I'm gonna go in with that shade Jamata again from the Warrior 2 palette, and I'm actually gonna use that as my blush. This is a super pretty blush, guys. Like, don't don't be scared to use some of this stuff also on your face. Like, it, it's universal. Now I'm gonna go in with my highlight. I forgot which one did I use. I think I used Volume Three from the Tri Palette. I've been loving these pressed ones, man. I've been loving these pressed ones from Juvia's Please, and I said I wasn't gonna buy no more, but I've been loving these. Um, this one, I believe it's volume three, and I've actually been loving this one. I thought I would like, you know, some of the other ones better, but I've been using this one a lot. Anyway, in the inner tear duct, I'm going to be using Zazz from the palette. It's a matte kind of off-white shade. I'm going to use that in the inner corner and just kind of brighten that up. And I'm also going to use that on my brow bone highlight as well. Yeah, I don't know. These tribe palette highlights, though, have been bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. So pick you up some if you haven't already. Ooh, you see that highlight, guys? Look, put on too damn much, being cute. Put on too damn much highlight on my damn nose. But it's just so pretty, but you know. Then I'm gonna align my lips, and I'm using the Elf, not Elf, NYX liner in Espresso. I honestly didn't really need a liner, but I just, I just like lining my lips before I apply any type of like, I feel like my lips won't bleed if I do that. And then I'm gonna go in with this liquid lipstick from Juvia's Place. This one is called, I believe it's Taytu, T-A-Y-T-U. I believe it's called Taytu, and I'm just gonna apply that to my lips. I love this shade, it's super, super pretty. Love the finish of this, um, and I actually love how it feels on the lips. And that is it for the completed look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. I really, really enjoyed creating this particular video for you. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video and leave me some comments down below of some other types of tutorials you guys want to see. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.